Hi students, I'm Prem Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing how to convert a floating point decimal number into its octal equivalence. So let us consider an example. The example is 137.3 to the base 10 into its octal equivalence. So a floating number consists of a decimal or a floating point in between two numbers. The left side of this floating point is known as the whole number part and the right side is known as the decimal fractional part. So simply fractional part. So since it has two portions, the conversion can be done in two different steps. In the first step, we have to convert the whole number part into its octal equivalent and in the second step, we have to we have to convert the fractional part into its octal equivalent. While converting the whole number part, the whole number part is 137, 137. So while converting a whole number part, what we have to do is continuously divide this number, this all number with the base or the radix value 8 until the quotient will become 0. So 137 divided by 8. So 137 divided by 8 will result in 17 times it will be 136 with a reminder of 1. So when 17 is divided by 8, that will result in 2 times 16 with a reminder of 1. When 2 is divided by 8, the quotient will be 0 with a reminder of 2. So 137, the equivalent of 137 is taken in the bottom to top order, that is 2, 1, 1. So 137 is equal to 211 point. The rest of the portion or the fractional portion conversion is done in this way. We have to consider the fractional value. The fractional value is 0 0.3. What we have to do is multiply this fractional value with the radix. Here the radix is 8. So the base value is 8. When 8 is multiplied with 0 0.3 that will result in 2.4 that is equal to 2.4 when we get this result the whole number portion of the result is taken into the result portion and the rest here the rest is 0 0.4 the 0 0.4 is again multiplied with the base value so the whole number portion is 2 that 2 is taken to the result portion and the remaining portion, the remaining portion is 0 0.4. 0 0.4 is again multiplied with 8. 0.4 into 8 will be 3.2. Again, look here the result portion or the whole number portion is 3. So this 3 is taken into the result portion and the rest, the rest portion is 0 0.2. 0 0.2 will be multiplied again with the radix value 8. So 0 0.2 into 8 will result in 1.6. Again, this all number portion 1, 1 is taken and the remaining or the rest portion is 6. So 0.6 is multiplied again with 8. So this step can be continued based upon the question or what the option we are having in our answer portion. So in this example, I am just considering up to 3 fraction points. So we can stop at this point. So, the number 137.3, the decimal number 137.3 can be represented in octal representation as 211.211.231 to the base 8. Now, let us consider one more example. The decimal number is 1000.10 to the base 10, what we have to do is find its octal equivalent of this number 1000.10. Here also we can see two portions, the whole number portion as well as the fractional portion. So there are two steps. First step is converting the whole number portion into its octal equivalence. What we have to do is divide this 1000 divided by 8. 1000 by 8 will result in 125 times 8 will result in 0. And when 125 is divided by 8, 15 times 8 will be 120 with a reminder 5. When 15 is divided by 8, 1 times 8 will be 
8 with a remainder of 7 and when 1 is divided by 8 the portion will be 0 with a remainder of 1 that is the equivalent of 1000 the decimal number 1000 is 1750 that is equal to 1750 decimal point in the second step we are considering the fractional portion the fraction is 0 0.10 0 0.10 can be taken as 0 0.1 itself so 0 0.1 into the radix value here the radix value is 8 so 0 0.1 into 8 is equal to 0 0.8 so here the whole number portion the whole number portion is taken to the result portion that is 0 is taken to the result portion and the rest is 8 this 8 is taken 0 0.8 is multiplied again with the radix or the base value so this 0 is taken to the result portion and 0.8 is multiplied with 8, that will result in 6.4. So this 6 is taken to the result and the rest 0.4 is taken to the and the rest 0.4 is multiplied with the base or the radix value. When 4 is multiplied with 8, the result will be 3.2. So the result, the whole number portion 3 is taken to the result portion and the rest 0 0.2 is multiplied with the base value when 0 0.2 is multiplied with 8 that will be 1.6 so 1 is taken to the result and the rest is multiplied with the base value and this step will continue into a numerous amount of times so i am stopping this result with four fractional points so the octal equivalent of the number, decimal number 1000.10 to the base 10 is 1750.0631 to the base 8. So my dear students, hope you had understood this topic. In this topic, we had discussed how to convert a fractional decimal number into its octal equivalent. So my dear students, kindly go through this assignment questions. The questions are convert the number 1360 1360.21 into its octal equivalent second question is 2400 2400.6 into its octal equivalent and third question is 8800.8 into its octal equivalent so my dear students in the upcoming lecture we will discuss how to convert an octal number into its decimal equivalents so my dear students, see you soon. Until then, goodbye, thank you and all the best.